Excellent. We're going to start with some meditation. Today we're going to practice Soham meditation. So when we do inhale, we pronounce so. When we exhale, we let it out with hum. So I'll demonstrate. So hands opening on your kneecap. Your first and the second fingertips touching together in Qin Mudra. On your comfortable seated position. Inhale. Exhale. And next, inhale, so. Exhale, hum. So. Hum. So. Continue on your own. Let it out loud, a lot of to release the tension and the stress. The sound of a soul hum has the power to release. Release any energy that do not serve our body, our physical body, emotional body, and the spiritual body. Let all the negativity, the dull energy, the draining energy leaving your body. Let it out loud. Initially, you might find a little sort of a strange of pronouncing the sound. And soon, as you practice more and more, the so, hum, so, hum, a little louder. So, hum, so, hum. See if you can make it a little longer. Hum, a little louder as you really set the intention to release all negative energy. Anything that do not serve the body, let it out loud. Particularly when you pronounce hum, let it go. Truly let it go. So, hum, so, hum, so. Allow the ten more rounds, then we start with our asana. So um, so um, so the difference. Set your intention to be truthful to yourself, to your physical, emotional, mental and spiritual needs. Next, inhale, gently open yourself, 
relax your hands, relax your legs. Coming on your own four. We're going to do a few rounds of a shift. Wrist under your shoulders, under your kneecap. Under your waist, make big movements, shift around of your waist, circulating. So you are, bring your shoulders front and then sending your buttocks backwards and just circle, big circulating stretch. And then opposite sides, three round. That's right. Back to the center, and then all the way, sending your buttocks to your heels. Lengthen your hands, forehead on the floor, resting on child pose. Three, two, one. Inhale. Slide your hands down at your shoulder level. Lift your full body, tabletop, we're going to do a few rounds of a cat and a cat and a cow pose. So inhale, we round our spine, tuck in our tailbone, chin to chest, exhale, sending your tailbone to the ceiling, arch down and chin up. And again, inhale. Exhale, cow. That's right. Connect with your breath. Inhale, long and slow. Vertebrate by vertebrate. Become aware of your spine movement. Awaken your inner energetic flow from the base of your spine all the way to the top of your head. Three more rounds. Good. Two more. Exhale. From here, sending your buttocks to the heels and slide your hands down beside your body for three, two, one. Next, inhale. Bring your hands back to where it was before and sending your buttocks to the ceiling. First, downward facing dog. Now you're pushing your hands away. For you first trying this position, you might want to bend your knees. Now you want it to have your head and the chest going down towards the floor a little bit more. That's right, let me come back and help you. You might shorten your distance. Step your feet closer to your head. Now we want to press this down, the ceiling up and chest down. Get the sensation there? Feel the tension, tight, that's okay. And feel free to take a break. So from child pose, what we can do, you can bend your legs a little and then Try to lengthen, stretch your legs, and then bend your legs, and then stretch. So just give your legs a little bit of space when you bend it, and then stretch it, lengthen. Like still we are on some sort of warm up exercise. All right, you might want to take a break now. Bend your knees, rest on the floor, child pose for three, two, one and inhale forehead up and downward facing dog again now see this time if you can press your palms against the floor a bit more feet closer if you might want to step your feet a little bit closer that's right that's good see if you can press your chest down a little closer to the floor hold it for three two one now when you're ready now lift your right leg three legged dogs all the way towards the ceiling 
exhale, step your right foot in between your palms. That's right, all the way, one big step, that's okay. And the left foot to follow. Halfway left, so your full body parallel with the floor. Exhale, forward bend fully. Bend your knees, next inhale, coming back up all the way towards the ceiling. Back bend a little. Exhale, hands down in front of your chest. Rest, samastiti. Good. Now I'm just going to show you, Eva. Have the blocks here when you do forward bend or any sort of position. If it's a little bit short of a distance, have the block to support your palms that can give your body that's just a little bit of a support. Now when you're ready, inhale. We're going to do a little, quite a few bit of movement first. Exhale, forward bend, palms beside your feet, forehead to shin. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg back, left leg back. Downward facing dog, push. Your palms and your feet, your heels towards the floor. Now, drishti towards to the navel. It's the poses, the breath, and your drishti, the three core elements of yoga practice. Stay here for extra three breaths. Now, if the body is feeling a little tight, feel free to take child pose break. Hmm. Exhale, lift your heels off the floor. Rest your kneecap on the floor, child pose. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift your forehead off the floor. Coming back up, knees off the floor. Step your heels down against the floor. Down with facing dog. Three, two, one. Now inhale, lift your left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, step your left foot in between your palms. You can do two steps, that's fine. And the right foot to follow. Forehead to shin. And inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. And then inhale, bend your legs, coming back up again. Exhale, namastiti. And inhale. Two more round here. Exhale. All the way, palms and floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg back. Left leg to follow. And the plank, sending your full body forward. Your whole body parallel with the floor. And then knee on the floor. Chest, chin. Flat your feet. That's right, flatten your feet, slide your full body, your chest forward, cobra, gaze up towards the ceiling, see if you can lengthen your hands, gaze up, beautiful, for three, two, one, exhale, vertebrate, by vertebrate, all the way, rest down on the floor. And inhale, lift up again. Cobra. Gaze up. Three, two, one. Exhale, vertebrate. Five vertebrate. Now for Eva, you might want to hold crocodile pose. So bring your hands in front of your head, rest your forehead on your forearms. And for Sue, we might want to just lift up. And for those who have the strength to lift up, we can do more. For those who prefer to rest a little, you can stay on rest. Three, two, one. 
the vertebrae, by vertebrae coming down. Two more rounds, inhale, lift. Gaze up, squeeze the shoulder blade together. Exhale, down. Final round. When you're ready, you can come back, follow us. Gaze up, shoulders down, away from the ears for three, two, one. Exhale. Hmm. And just relax your hands on crocodile pose. You can turn your cheek on one side. Take a few breaths. Take your time. Next, inhale, palms on your chest. Bend your legs, sending your buttocks back. Coming back up and down with facing dog. Good. Wonderful. And inhale, lift your right leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, step in between your palms. Left foot to follow. Halfway left. Exhale, forward bend. Next, inhale, bend your knees a little. Coming back all the way. Stand up pose, back bend. Exhale, hands in front of yourself, prayer position. Namaste, relax. Take a few moments to just capture your breath, give your body a little space to rest and recover from this a few sun salutation. Now feel free to, that's good, with the feet, Open a little hip squeeze. Provide a little space between your feet. Arms open. I am truthful to myself. I honor my knees. I refuse any negative energy. In the next a few rounds of movements or throughout the courses, see if you are able to incorporate so hum in your movement. So now next inhale, so hum, hands down in front of your chest. So you can just follow, you can silently say it out loud. Silent say so hum. Or say it out loud, that's both ways. We're going to do some balance pose now. So inhale. So. Hum. So. Hum. And inhale, lift your right foot against your left in the thigh. Three breaths here. So, um, so, um, so, um. You might want to take a break. You can you can do that. Otherwise, both arms up all the way towards the ceiling. Tree pose. Open tree, visualize a big tree, strong and tall branches reaching all the way to the sky. What can we learn from a tree? I am truthful. I honor my knees. I refuse any negative energy. So, hum, so, hum, so, hum, release. Feeling wonderful. The sound for us 
to vibration that the body needs. Left foot. Left foot rests on your right wrist. Your hands rest on your waist. Gaze towards one spot. Look straight forward. Finding one spot and gaze into it. Stay still. So. Um, so. Um, and take a break before we do the next one. So you first step the left foot against your left ankle. That's where you were. And when you're down, take a moment of a break. Give yourself a big smile. Inhale, lift your left foot against your right thigh. In the right thigh. And see if you can bring your left kneecap. Turn towards the left a little. So. Um, so. Um, so. Um. Next inhale, see if you can lift you. Both of your arms up. So. Um, so. Um, so. Um, slowly release. Feeling good, a big smile to yourself. All right. Right leg again. Now let's just do a little bit of a circulating exercise and activate the energy. Let the blood flow around your ankles. Now your toes. You might want to stretch in the flat. Stretch in the flat. Your right foot pointing in the flat. Pointing in the flat. Opposite circle. And now circle. Bring your knee up. Turning it outward. In again. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Now circulating up and down. Up and down. A little bit of uh, joint movement is always, always needed. The body is always welcome all the joint movement. Opposite circle. Three round. Ooh, no rest. Doesn't seem to be challenging, but if you stay quiet for a bit of a time, you can feel a bit of a sore, isn't it? Now just circulating. Left and the right, and the right and left, circulating and pointing your feet flat, pointing flat, pointing flat, pointing flat. Now left, bend your left leg, open, back to the center, open, back to the center, hands on your waist to give your body that needed support, open, back to the center. Open, now circulating. You can notice that some sort of a tightness or some soreness at the base of your thighs. And just observe, watch. Ooh, opposite circle now. Big smile to yourself, just tune it on your own practice. Honor your physical needs. What is that that your body is needing today? Good. Now, back to the center. We're going to bend our right leg now. See if you can hold the ankle of your right. You can hold your feet, that's fine. Hold the ankles, that's also fine. Now, see if you are, would like to lift your left hand 
all the way left hand pointing toward the ceiling. See if you can bend your left leg now. Stand up. Woo. You can easily lose balance, that's fine. Keep on trying. One more round. Back to the center. Now exhale, see if we can forward bend. Dancing pose. Now you lift your right leg toward the ceiling, reaching your left hand. For three, two, one. Exhale, coming back up and then release. Feeling really good. Feeling your body becomes more strength, strong and powerful. Now left leg, bend your left leg, hold your left leg with your left hand at the ankle or at the foot and inhale, lift your right hand. And see if you are able to bend your right leg a little. Stand up, bend it again. It's quite a fun movement. Looks easy, but you can try it yourself. When you're ready, inhale, lengthen, reaching a little further. And exhale, kick your left foot. And then reaching your right hand a little further, gaze at one spot. Stay balanced, stay focused, and a smile. For three, two, one. Exhale, wonderful release. Take your time. Finding that a balance, that strength, you know, move with flow, with stillness. Just take a few moments, just move a little bit. Bend your knees, you've been here too. Um, step, step. Feet open, mat wheeze, hands on your waist. Big rolling movement towards the left, towards the right. Left and the right. And a moving circulating. And the front and the back, big circulating. And just warm up. Feel the blood, feel the energy floating inside your sacrum, in your sitting bone, in your hips. And that's right. And you're ready, coming back to the center. Inhale, both hands, lengthen, and stretch, parallel with the floor, exhale, forward bend. Now there are a few options here. And the first option, you can have your hands resting on your thigh, oops, on your hips, on your waist, yeah? Fingers point opposite the hands, that's right. And then exhale, forward bend. Keep your full body, upper body straight. Chest bone forward. We're not hunted in. See if you can send your chest bone forward. This is too loud music. That's right. There you go, you got the sensation. You will notice the sensation, your shoulders open, sending your chest bone forward. You might want to prepare the standing position where you're standing. You maintain your upper torso straight and exhale, smile, forward, bend. See if you're able to go a little lower and then hands down on the floor. If you need to grab the blocks, support your hands. If the hands seem to be too far away, these are the options you can use. Otherwise, the hands are all the way between your feet and see if you can lengthen your torso and reaching your head a little lower. So what it looks like, your upper body is in a straight line. Let me just turn around, see. See your upper body in a straight line. And all the way down, crown to the floor. And inhale, lift. When you lift, you have the option to bend your knees, coming back a bit easier, hands on your waist, coming back up. Exhale, release. Stab your heels back in, back to the center, just center yourself. 
Take a few deep breaths here, grounding yourself with the feet. Notice the four points front and back, and then bring all your awareness to the center of your soles. Take a few moments to connecting your feet to the center of earth and a smile. See if you can feel the energy. Visualize. Imagine, imagine the light, golden light, emanates so strong from the center earth, connecting to your feet, to the soles of your feet. So. Inhale, open, step open. One big step, or you can slowly open, that's fine too. And inhale, we're going to do the forward bend, wide leg forward bend again. And this time all the way, see if you can hold your ankles with your hands. And the first round, you don't have to go all the way down. And inhale, halfway lift, just preparing your body. And then exhale, forward bend. Now notice the calf muscle being really tight, really stretched. And this strengthening and opening can extend all the way to your hamstrings. Just notice them. Now you can also, if I can have the block to support your head, use two. Now the hands feel if it is a bit too far away and hold on your shins and even hold on your thighs, that's completely fine. And you can also bend your knees a little and then see and then feel your body. If that's too much, you can also stay here, squat, like half squat sort of thing and then feel the strength. Is there any particular body part that's tight, okay? Bend the knees, that gives the legs a lot of space and see if you can lengthen, lifting the upper body and then coming back up. That's, that would be the version, different option version for you. So for the first two, you can go down there, you stay there. Now each body is different and it's unique, it has its own strengths and weaknesses. So you respect your own body. You, for those, you can go down all the way down there and for those you found a challenge, bend your knees. You can bend your knees and then hold your ankle, that's right. See if you can lower your hips down a little, if you have a different version, chest up. That's good. You're sending your chest bone forward and head lifting. So your upper body maintain a straight line. Now if you feel like to have a rest, then you can bend your Straighten your legs and a forward bend. So you can change the movement in between this and that. This also adding a space and strengthening, opening your hamstrings. Now back to the center. Oh, fair bit of movement, huh? Now inhale, turning your right foot towards the right side. We're going to do warrior pose. Big step, legs wider. Three feet width. This is where your feet, the distance goes. Right heels towards the left heels, 90 degrees. You were correct before. That's correct. A bit wider, your feet a bit wider. Okay, now your body maintain the center. Left heels back, right hips forward. 
and bend your right leg. See where we can go. We're going to hold our waist here first. The torso maintain the center. You might want to move and wide a little. See, move your right foot a little. The right ankle right below your kneecap. Now feet straight line. That's right. We're looking a little bit of alignment here. Left foot, left foot fine, 90 degrees. Technically it's 45 degree, but, uh, but, uh, but we can find it challenging. So we are okay to, to not to be too stringent, stringent about the row, the rules. And now shift your waist, shift your hips. See how you go with there. And see if you can lift and lengthen your hands. Stay here. Ooh, you can feel the tension. You can feel the right leg a bit sour. And just observe. Pay all the attention, awareness to your right leg. For five, four, three, two, one, relax. One more round, and this time you're going to turn your head, looking at your right middle finger. Lengthen both of your arms. Turn your head towards the right side, middle finger tips. Bend your right leg. See if you can go a little lower this time, just a little. Turning your head towards the left. Bend a little more, go a little lower. Left, strengthening your hands. That's right, now you got it. Left hand slide it lower a little, right hand higher. That's right, that's. I feel like I'm a bit out of line. That's okay, it's not normal, it's not natural, but in time you'll be natural because you or we are in the wrong poses for a long time, so you can feel awkward when you're in the right postures. Good. Right hip forward a little, left hip backwards, so your torso stay in the center line. That's wonderful. Exhale, relax yourself. Opposite side, now turning your right foot in, left foot out. Stay here and just reposition, feeling this bit. You can feel your left hips in the thighs opening once you do the twist. Now if we're maintaining the left hips forward, right hips back, so your torso, your body maintain the center. Because we're opening the left upper in the thighs, that's what we're doing as we're twisting our left foot out. Now in the center, eyes closed, just feel this pose for a few breaths. Let those tension, let them out, let it go and observe. And exhale, release. And now inhale, both arms up, all the way towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your left leg. Hands down. See if you can turn your head, looking at your left middle finger. Good. Make minor adjustments, your left foot go a little further. Good. Bend a little lower. Left hand lift, right hand higher. Left hand lower, head straight. That's good. Look at the middle fingertips. This is a warrior pose. What does a warrior feel? The warrior feels the strength. The warrior is comfortable and being proud with their poses. Looking towards your middle finger left. Smile. See if we can hold extra five poses. Five breath here, smile. And just observe your inner feelings. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. Can be quite a fair bit of stay still. We, I haven't said that you can close the back. Good. 
Bend it again. Lengthen. Ooh, a fair bit. And exhale, reverse warrior. Right hand rests outside of the right thigh. Left hand lean over. And exhale. Left hand rests on your left leg. Right hand reaching over your head. Your right hand, you want to bring it up on the back behind your ears. So your toes, so your entire body forming a straight line, if you notice. Bend your left leg. All the way, go a little lower. Cool. Exhale. Right hand down. Left hand down beside your left leg. Step your left leg back. Downward facing dog. That's okay. Take your time. Make any kind of movement so that the body is a little more comfortable. You can bend your legs here. That's right. For downward facing dog, bend your legs and step your feet a little closer to the body. Give the body more space and when you're ready, then you can slowly strengthen your legs. That makes your position a little easier. Now, coming back to your upper body, lift your forehead a little and then push your chest down. We're trying to strengthen and lengthen the upper body. Ooh, three breaths here. Exhale, rest your knees on the floor. Forehead on the floor. Hands down behind your body. Child pose. In your next inhale, lift your forehead, coming back up to seated position. Slightly open your legs. Gaze towards the center, finding one spot, eyes closed, palms rested on your thighs. So Inhale, both hands open sideways up all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, front waist down all the way, spread and reaching a little further. Now I want you to reach your hands as far as possible, but still grounding your hips. See if you can touch, lowering your hips to your heels, on your chins. Three, two, one. Exhale, slide your hands down on tabletop position. From here, we're going to inhale, lift your right hand towards the ceiling all the way, gaze up. Exhale, needle thread underneath your left armpit. So you're resting your right cheeks on the floor. You can Rest your left hand here, or you can lift over to the ceiling and then rest it behind. See if you can reach your right in the thigh or just rest your left hand behind your body. Gaze up. Now this is a great chance to open your chest, opening your heart. When you're opening your heart, remember your intention today. I am truthful. I honor my needs. I refuse any negative energy. And just observe your inner sensation, 
how you feel internally about the vows that you made to yourself today. Stay here for another five breaths. I'm actually really enjoying these poses. Okay, next, inhale. Lift your left hand over the ceiling, rest back on the floor. Relax your right hand. So right hand back to where it was before. And this time, inhale, lift your left hand all the way towards the ceiling. Needle stretch over your right armpit. Good. Now you rest your left cheek on the floor. Lift your right hand over. You can just stay here over the ceiling or you can rest your right hand over your buttocks or all the way reaching further behind your body. See if you can reach your left thigh or rest on your left waist. And now reach your right shoulder towards the ceiling, opening your right chest. Eyes closed. Five breath. So um, so um, so. Next, inhale, reach your right arm towards the ceiling. Bring it back to the floor and the left hand back. Child pose. Buttocks resting on your heels, hands behind your body. For three, two, one, and inhale. Left. And hands behind your body coming back up. You're going to lengthen, reach. You can do that. This is another, uh, the, this is the pose you want to open your chest. I actually really like this pose. Upper facing, upper facing bridge, yes. So, Rest your feet, big toes touching together. Now hands, fingers pointing opposite ways. That's right. Fingers pointing your toes and hands, just notice the distance. It's just the palm just beside your body. Not too much inside, but not, not too much outside. Just beside, at the edge of the body. And when you're ready, lift your core muscle, lengthen and lift over there. Lift your chest and sending your head back. Stay for three, two, one. Exhale, vertebrate by vertebrate. Relax down. You can go all the way around yourself. And inhale again. You don't need to do two more rounds here. Lift your core muscle. Opening your chest, sending your shoulders back, shoulder blades coming together, head back, eyes closed. For three, two, one. Exhale, vertebrate by vertebrate, lift your chest for head back and round yourself. Just rebound the poses. Final round, hands behind your body. Lift your core muscle. We're going to stay here for five breaths. Listen to your own body. If you feel comfortable to do one or two, that's fine too. You can rest back as you rebound. Three more. So, hum, 
Rebound around yourself. Hug yourself. And inhale, coming in the back up. Lengthen your right leg. Sit on your left heels. You're going to do some seated position before Shivasana. Um, you might want to see if you can use this pose, this cushion. Just hold your right. So the cushion can kind of like cover your left foot. That's right. Some sort of diagonal direction. I'm going to grab one for you. Now, lengthen the light. We're doing the opposite. So you are sitting over here. So the cushion just placed over here, over your foot. This is where you're sitting. If this is a challenge, okay, now we can just open, sitting on the floor. Would that be better? Now lengthen your body. Okay, so you're ready. Inhale, lengthen, reach both of your hands over the ceiling. Exhale, forward bend. Now this is difficult. You just you can sit still have the the cushion, yeah. The herb cushion gives the body a lot of support, so you can sit a little taller. Now your left foot is out. Lengthen your right foot. Okay. Tuck in your navel, sending the tip of your sacrum bone, lengthen your upper body. Let me come and adjust you a little. Shift your weight towards the right side, lengthen, sending your lumbar spine forward, chest bone forward, hands on the side. Use the hands to support your body, hands on the waist or on the floor. Okay, that's better. Forget about your hair. Now lengthen, lift both your hands up. You can stay here. Inhale, left. You see your chest bone forward. Your entire upper body remains straight all the way up. And you feel the tension of your arms. So you can do this way. Or if you can, all the way lengthen your arms beside your ears. Exhale, forward bend. Now where your hands go, hold your shins. If this is challenging, hold your thighs or use the belt. Now lengthen your upper body, normal hunch, sit still. You might feel a little bit tight here. So lengthen, see if you can aim to lift your upper body rather than going down. For Sue, she can go a lot lower, that's perfect. And see if you can slowly step your hands a little further down, just below your kneecap. And lengthen your upper body, chest bone forward. See how does that feel for you? Guys, three, two, one, exhale, coming back up. Now I want you to hold your right hand right feet with your left hand. We're still seated with your right leg straight. Use the belt. Okay, if it is a challenge, grab a belt. Grab the belt, okay, and that's good. You can hold it with you, both hand or one hand, whichever. If you can, okay, upper body here, straight. 
Okay, we're not doing this pose. We want to lift your chest. Chest stays straight. See if you can bring your hand, bend your hands, lift your upper body. Bring your chest just above your sacrum. Okay, chest not here, chest up. Okay, I know that your legs are sacrificing, yeah? What we are doing, okay, now we're going to sit from this position and then lift our legs. See where you're going. That's right. Slowly, yes, hold your chest. Hold your chest straight. Two, three, two, one. Excellent, release. Wonderful. Okay, now see if we can bring your right leg in. If you're on the left, you do the left. Have a lotus. Press your kneecap down. Use the block. Use the block. If the right kneecap does not reach the floor, use the block to support. And that provides the contact with the floor. That's good, yeah? There you go. You can use one. If you use one, then you can press it down a little. Or grab a towel. That's right, that's right. Change the direction so that might give you more space. But for you, that, that's fine. Okay. So your left hand on your right foot okay now inhale reach your right hand you're reaching your opposite hand okay you're doing opposite your right hand oh relax that's okay relax don't force yourself okay in any position don't force yourself and there's no comparison there's no competition that's right you can just live there out there what are you doing rest your legs sitting tall so we're going to work a little bit with you, just lengthen and broaden the space in your lumbar spine. Sit tall, left hands. You're doing this way, okay? We're doing this way. So left hand holding, you're interlocking your hands on your waist. For you, you're doing this way. Yes, that's correct. And then rest your hands on the side. Okay. What you're trying to do is moving your, opening your left shoulder, bring your left hands behind. And me and the Sue, we're doing this way. So you are trying to bring the shoulders in. And now see if we can bring the elbows in, tuck it in this way. We are opening the chest. So bring your elbows closer to each other. Does that make sense? So bring both of your elbows towards the center of your spine. So that sending your chest bone forward. Close your eyes and feel the pose. Pray so. Hum. So hum, so hum. Exhale, release. Change your legs. Sitting on your right foot, lengthen your left foot. Now, Eva, you can just bend your left leg. Is that possible? And have a cushion supporting your left hips. So you're sitting on your right. Is that better? Okay, so when you are ready, inhale both hands sideways, lifting, lengthen, gaze up, exhale, forward bend, reaching as far as you can. Hold your foot, 
your shin, all your thighs, length and chest bone forward. See if you can open. Shoulders backwards a little, shoulders down away from your ears. That's right. So you're lengthening. See if you can. That's fine. That's, that's good. That's always that's a, that's a good place to start. And then see if you can slowly reach a little further. So we are flex from the hips area and then our belly towards the thighs and chest to shins. And that's where you go. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. As you release, lift, left foot. I use the belt. When we were before, we wanted to sit still first. Sit still, oh no, sit still, chest. See if you can maintain your upper body straight where you were before, that's good. And then lift. It's okay if you just lift a little. And see if you can maintain a straight spine here. And for those you can, you can just lift a little higher, a little higher. So ideally, what the pose looks like, you're turning your body towards the left side. And hold your left leg, left foot with your right hand. Looking behind, smile. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, relax yourself, turning back to the center. And once you do that, bend your left leg, bring it in, halfway lotus. For you, you can just rest out here or on the floor. It doesn't have to be in. Do whichever variation that the body is okay. You can just rest here. Even you can just sit on the floor if you're sitting on the right foot is a little challenge. So a new pose, yeah, that's, that's fine too. And sit tall. And for those we can, sit on half lotus. Now, if we are there, We're going to interlock your hands on the right side. And that's right. So you're, you're doing the opposite side. Uh, you were doing the opposite side, but that's fine. So interlock your hands and bring all the rest of them outside of your waist. And then squeeze your elbows towards the center of the spine. Sending your chest bone forward. Torso in the center. And a smile. Five breaths here. So. yourself. Shift your weight towards the left, relax your right leg, bring the right leg back to the front. Just a few minutes so for winding it down. Palms down on your kneecap, grounding yourself. Tucking your navel, sending your chest bone forward, the shoulders down and backwards. Lengthen. Up. 
I am truthful to myself. I honor my needs. I refuse any negative energy. So. Inhale, relax yourself, lengthen, relax your legs. Lying down, the lying down position, bend your legs. Just hold your legs towards your chest. Squeeze your knee to chest, hold it. You can hold your elbows. Maybe turning, rocking yourself, left and right, rocking baby. Left and right, big rock, and just feel the spine, massage your spine here. Oh, that's good. And now sending your knees away, palms on your kneecap, and place your right leg over your left. Interlock your hands behind your left leg. That's right, bring your left leg in and ascending, push your right leg away from the body. Feel the tension. See if you can still ground your buttocks. Oh. So, um, so, Exhale, release, left foot on the floor, right foot on the floor, change legs, bring both legs in, left leg over your right kneecap, interlock your hands behind your right leg, bring your right legs in, push your left knee away, feel the tension, left hips left growing feel it so um so um so um no relax lengthen both of your legs do any kind of final stretch if there's any otherwise you can just stretch lengthen your toes and the arms over your head stretch so um, rest on your shivasana Cover yourself with a blanket, arms beside your body, legs straight. Shivasana is the most important poses of all yoga poses. That's right. Eyes closed, rest. If there's any thinking, you can just focus on the thinking of today's intention. I'm truthful to myself. I honor my knees. I 
I refuse all negative energy.
Gently bring all your awareness to your body. Bring it back all the way to your mat. To your fingers and your toes. Give yourself a big smile. Gentle, soft, full of love full of self-awareness and acknowledgement. Wiggling your fingers and your toes. Gently turn your body to one side. With the support of your hands coming back to your seated position. Let your intention to set and sink even lower as you now have 10 times more grounded energy within you. Let these buttocks, your body, your feet, your thighs, once more grounding yourself. I am truthful to myself. I honor my knees. I refuse any negative energy. Next, inhale, palms open, bring your hands in front of your chest. And lift your thumb over your forehead, elbows touching together. Gently bow forward, namaste. Namaste.